Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, my name is Danny. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about what I have been doing to heal my skin from the inside out by treating the root cause of what is causing my acne. So if you have not seen the video that I did before this, I talked about how I actually found the root cause of my acne. I talk about the tests that I got done as well as the functional practitioner that I'm seeing. And I also kind of just talked about my results. So if you are interested in seeing that and watching that before you watch this video, I will have that one linked in the description box below and I'll put a card up here as well just in case you want to check that one out first but in today's video I want to talk to you guys about what I am actually doing so at this point I have been doing the protocol um, and that means like the diet changes the supplements the lifestyle changes exercises all that kind of stuff I've been doing that for a little bit over a month now and I'll show you guys what my skin looked like um, before starting all of this and then what it looks like now about a little bit over a month doing this protocol so I'll insert pictures here so you guys can see that and hopefully you guys can tell that my skin has improved quite a lot and I still have a little ways to go. Um, I want to do this for about three months to really see maximum results. And of course, you want to continue incorporating those lifestyle changes so that you can maintain your beautiful skin. So let's go over what exactly I have been doing. Now I am going to share all of the supplements that have been recommended to me and I will have everything linked in the description box below, but I do really want to emphasize the importance of these supplements might not be for you at all. So I really do not recommend that you just go out and purchase the things that I'm talking about in this video. Some of the things um, like lifestyle changes could be good for anybody and I'll let you know which ones those are. But as far as supplements go, I do not recommend that you go out and purchase the things that I recommend because what my body needs is going to be completely different than what your body needs. Just wanna let you guys know that. The functional practitioner that I am seeing, I will have her information linked in the description box below. If you do want to get to the root cause of whatever health issue you're dealing with, maybe it's acne, maybe it's weight, maybe you think you have PCOS, she can help you with a variety Variety of different health conditions so um, even if you don't have acne she can still help you if you do decide to see her let her know that I sent you tell her that Danny Smith sent you I would recommend seeing her if you're interested because she will create a protocol specifically for you and what your body needs because you're gonna have totally different results than I had and all that kind of stuff so you're gonna need specific things for your body and what works for me is probably not gonna work for you um, and that's just the truth. Everybody's body is individual. Everybody needs different things. Everybody needs a different support um, with different supplements and different foods. So I just want to know that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first, I'm going to talk to you guys about the uh, supplements that she recommended to me. I have, I think, like eight or nine different supplements that I'm taking. Um, and I know that sounds like a lot, but my body definitely needed help, as you could tell from that picture of my skin. I needed a lot of help. There's a lot going on inside my body. So the one of the things that she recommended to me is the ACZ Nano Extra Strength Advanced Cellular Zeolite from the brand Results RNA. And what this does it help is it helps to bind copper and toxicity. So on my test results, it said that I might have um, hidden copper toxicity. Okay, so I just want to pause here real quick and explain that a little bit more. So based on my test results, it showed that I have possible hidden copper toxicity. And what that means is that I have a variety of factors that are pointing towards me having copper toxicity. It's not like guaranteed, but I did have quite a few factors pointing to it. So that's why they want to say hidden copper toxicity, uh, meaning not like totally for sure that's it, but there is a high chance of it. Also, copper toxicity was something that my functional practitioner was actually suspicious about me possibly having it even before um, we did the test and I got the test results. Um, so if you do have acne, there is a chance that you could have to copper toxicity. And I feel like this is something that a lot of people could get without even realizing it just because of all the environmental sources that you can possibly get it from. I feel like just with today's society, like all the toxic cookware and all those things out there that we don't even think of um, possibly causing issues can cause issues. Um, so yeah, definitely something to look into and you could find out if you do get um, a test done and do see um, the functional practitioner that I'm seeing. 
so this just helps to bind copper and toxicity i take 12 sprays of this per day i take six sprays after breakfast and six sprays after lunch um so then i'm also taking lithium orotate five milligrams i take two of these per day i take one with lunch and one with dinner now what this does is this helps with emotional support and detox support so one of the huge things that i'm doing during this protocol is detoxing my body and then i'm also taking ova blend by the brand vitanica and this helps with hormone support i take four of these a day i take two with breakfast and two for lunch and then i'm also taking uh, a liver support supplement from vital nutrients and this of course is going to support liver detox i take three of these per day i take it with breakfast lunch and dinner and then i also take um, another liver support and this is like a great alternative to like coffee it's actually really good if you mix it with a creamer of course you think using like a healthier creamer is great i'll link a healthier creamer alternative below and it honestly tastes similar to coffee at least in my opinion maybe like kind of tastes similar to decaf coffee i personally don't drink coffee anyway um, but this is a great alternative and it helps you support your liver and it's called dandy blend so and then i also take this adrenal cocktail so this is from the brand jigsaw health and this helps to and this is for adrenal support i take this every morning um like right when i wake up and i take it like a shot because this does not taste good i will say very much it does not taste good but this is helping with adrenal support and it helps to energize and replenish your adrenal glands it helps you regulate important hormones and promote healthy stress response so these ones that i have they're individual packets um, and I just put this in a little bit of orange juice and honestly, I'll take orange juice with the packet in it and then I'll also take another glass of orange juice and I'll go back and forth because it's disgusting. So that's how I do it. That's how I get that down. Okay, and then I also take potassium and this is very individual because I needed to increase my potassium. So that's why I'm taking this one. I will take three potassium all day. I'll take it with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I also take a variety of homeopathic medicines and the ones that I take are Hepar Sulfurus Calcarum and Arsenicum Album. Now these are the ones that were recommended to me by my functional practitioner as well as all the other their supplements and then i also recently started incorporating two other um, homeopathic medicines these are all from the brand boyron i hope i'm pronouncing that right um, and those other ones are sulfur iodatum and calcarea sulfurica now something to note about these is that they might say that they are used for things other than acne but the thing about these homeopathic medicines is that they can actually be used for a variety of different things and these are all uh, and these can all be used for acne as well um, the only one that actually specifically says that it is for acne is is the calcarea sulfurica and it says that it relieves boil and ac boils and acne but all of these other ones as well I just thought I would note that so if you do go and look these up and they say that they're for other things don't worry they're also for acne again I'll have all these linked in the description box below if you guys are curious Sorry for the bad audio. I forgot to mention one of the supplements. I also take this probiotic. It is it is the Microbiome Labs Mega Spore Biotic Probiotic Supplement. I take one of these before bed. So I don't really recommend that you get any of the supplements. The only one I would maybe recommend would be the liver support because, I mean, everybody can use liver support. But other than that, those these are all very specific to me and what my body needs. So I don't recommend going and getting at any of the other ones. Um, the homeopathic medicines, I do think are something that would be great to incorporate maybe um, because those are specifically supposed to help with acne and it's not a supplement it is a homeopathic medicine so it's a bit different and uses all natural and safe ingredients um, so I just wanted to mention that but as far as all the other supplements you really want to choose supplements that are for your specific needs so that's why I recommend seeing the functional practitioner that I'm seeing she's so great and the great thing about her is that she is online so you can literally just communicate with her online you can message her whenever you want throughout the protocol 
protocol or throughout when you're doing all when you're doing the uh, protocol um, you can message her with any questions and things like that and you actually never have to get on a call once she gets your result she will send you a video explaining the results and then also going over your pro protocol what you're gonna do your diet changes your food recommendations your supplement recommendations your lifestyle changes and of course if you have any questions she will answer those for you um, so then I want to go over um, the lifestyle recommendations that she made for me or that she recommended it to me and I feel like most people can benefit from these things so if you wanted to start incorporating anything that I mentioned in this video I think that the lifestyle changes are a great are a great place to start and can really be beneficial for anybody this one is easy and goes for anybody exercise regularly she says walk to help sweat to detoxify the body and eliminate toxins yoga or Pilates also is good so really Everybody needs to be exercising. Breaking a sweat is really important because breaking a sweat is because breaking a sweat is what helps your body to detox. So very much start exercising. Also, something that I learned is that for women, um, uh, modifying or changing up your workouts is very important according to your cycle. Like when you're on your menstrual cycle, you don't need to be doing those hit workouts. You don't need to be doing those intense workouts. So when you are on your period, it's great to do a long walks and just exercises that aren't as intense and then when you're not on your period of course you can do those more intense workouts so then another thing that she recommended to me is dry brushing and she recommends that i do that three to four times a week i really like to do it four times a week if i can if i remember and what this helps to do it helps in detoxification by stimulating the lymphatic system which is responsible for eliminating cellular waste when the lymphatic when the lymphatic system is not working properly waste and toxins may build up and result in compromised health so um, using only light pressure and always brush in the direction of the heart. So you want to start at your feet and work up and just, of course, avoid any delicate areas um, such as your face unless you're using a face dry brush. Um, like your private areas and irritated skin. Um, and I should really make a video all about dry brushing, but it's super easy. Um, I don't have one for my face. I don't dry brush on my face. I just dry brush, brush on my body. So it helps to eliminate waste and toxicity through lymphatic system instead of the skin. Um, so dry brushing is a great, a great thing to start incorporating. Um, you could do that. That's great for everybody. Um, and I will link um, some dry brushes below. I'll link one that is great for beginners and then also one that is great if you're more used to it. And the reason I say there's a difference is because when you first start dry brushing, like some dry brushes are really, really rough. So it actually like kind of hurts at first. I feel like your skin kind of needs to get used to it. It help, really helps you stimulate the lymphatic system. So um, certain, yeah, certain dry brushes are more tough or rough so i will put two options out there i do have one that is um more soft and then i do have one that is rougher you don't want it to be too soft because you want it to actually st stimulate the lymphatic system but i'll link some options below Another lifestyle recommendation is to chew thoroughly. So chewing is a vital part of digestion and the saliva contains the first digestive enzymes your food will reach. The mouth is the only place where food is broken down mechanically. The act of chewing also triggers the rest of the gastrointestinal system. The lower stomach muscles relax and release food and the pancreas produces enzymes and biocarbonate. Nutrient extraction, extraction is also impaired if food is not adequately chewed. Undigested pieces of food may also serve as food for bacteria in the colon, leading to bacterial overgrowth or flatulence. Also, I'm reading off of the notes that she gave me, so sorry if I keep looking down, but I just wanted to give you guys an explanation for each of these things. Um, and then she also says to introduce peaceful mantras into your routine. So if you do... Um, sign up to see the functional practitioner that I am seeing. Um, she'll give you... You'll get like a whole... Um, I want to say kind of like a course, but I don't really like thinking of it like a course, but it's just a um, online like presentation where you learn about different things. Um, you talk, she talks about diet, she talks about like um, stress relief and things like that um, and exercise, stuff like that. So if you do see her, you'll learn more about peaceful mantras. So then she also recommends to get to bed by 10 p.m. This is definitely something that I am still struggling with. But the reason is because your adrenals are severely impacted. Sleep between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. 
um, helps to ensure your body can recharge as well as eliminate and detoxify at night. Um, and for me specifically, it is because I have a lot of toxic elements. Um, so then she also says to reduce caffeine consumption. So this might include like coffee or non-herbal teas and chocolate. So um, like I said, a great alternative for coffee is the Dandy Blend. So that is what I use. What I really like to do to make it better and I very much recommend because it can taste quite bitter is to add some organic monk fruit. Um, monk fruit is great. It really makes it just taste so much better. And then of course you can add a little bit of a creamer as well. Dandy Blend can be purchased on Amazon. So I'll link that in the description box below if you do wanna try that out. Also for me, she recommended to, to take Celtic sea salt for cooking. So I switched out my regular cooking salt to a Celtic sea salt um, and it can be bought on Amazon. And the reason is because this one does have the most minerals um, and I'll link that one on Amazon as well. So then the last thing that she recommended, which I personally love to do, is taking a foot bath or a bath. And she recommends that I do that twice a week. A foot bath or regular bath with potassium, bicarbonate, Epsom salt, and borax. Now she actually recommended that I only need to do the potassium uh, bicarbonate and borax. I actually did get a foot bath for Christmas. My brother purchased it for me. I absolutely love it. It is so good. It heats, it vibrates, so it helps give your a little bit of a foot massage. It also bubbles, so it feels like it feels like you got a hot tub for your feet, which is great. I love it. If you guys are curious, I'll link that one below because I know not everybody has a bath and I do like to kind of switch back and forth between them taking a bath and also a foot bath, but it's nice to be able to just use a foot bath in my room. Now, I actually did end up getting the Epsom salt. It is a magnesium Epsom salt. My magnesium levels are actually good. They're where they're supposed to be, but also helps to maintain it. So she said that I didn't have to use that one, um, but I actually just recently got it just because I wanted to incorporate it, um, just because I wanted to start using it. It also is supposed to help with like leg cramps. I get leg cramps sometimes at nighttime or I don't know, it feels just like an internal like pain on my legs sometimes and it's supposed to help with that. So that's why, so that's one of the reasons that I wanted to start using it. But the main ones that she did recommended that she did recommend to me are potassium, bicarbonate, and borax. For those, she recommended the brand Prescribed for Life. This brand pays special attention to their ingredients. Their products are chemical free. So that's very important. And again, these are specifically recommended to me. You might not specifically need those. So I'll put them in the description box below, but honestly, I don't. I don't recommend getting them without knowing if you actually need them. Really getting a test done is really gonna help. Again, if you haven't seen my first video where I talk about the test that I did, definitely check that out because um, that might be helpful for you. So yeah, I feel like that was kind of a long video. Also, of course, she gave me diet recommendations. She did tell me like certain foods to eat. I am vegetarian. Um, she told me specific foods to eat to support um, the specific um, needs that I need. The needs that i need um and this will be different for you the specific food recommendations um so yeah and then also she can help give you some exercise recommendations if you're not sure of um, certain workouts to do she'll give you ideas for that as well she's just super helpful and has been really helping me and she's a super super sweet lady i will say it is a bit pricey but honestly like in the long run, it's like not pricey. Like initially it's pricey and you can do it in two different payments if you would like. I think you can do it even in three payments. I think maybe it is just two payments. Um, but while it initially it does feel pretty expensive and also will depend on which um, program you do with her, whatever you need, um, but she'll recommend that to you. Um, but like, it's not like when you consider like the amount of like derm like for me like dermatologist appointments that I went to where I spent all this money on copays and on these medications these prescription medications that ended up not working and actually probably harming me even more and that was you know years and years of buying all of these things that didn't work spending money on all these appointments that didn't help me only left me, me feeling more discouraged so while it is it will feel a little bit pricey up front like you guys it is so so worth it you're putting your health first and you're just you're investing in your health and it's actually going to help you get to the root issue so once you're healed you can actually stay healed as long as you keep incorporating those lifestyle changes eating healthy and just taking care of your body because you know if you go to a dermatologist and you take a medication it's normally a very it's a superficial treatment and while it may make things look healed for a while once you stop taking it normally 
the acne is going to come back or whatever issue you're treating is probably going to come back because it's a very superficial treatment and it's not healing the cause of the issue. It is not treating the cause. So what she helps you do is she helps you actually heal your body with natural supplements and things that are actually good for you, not harmful to you, and it actually helps you get to the root cause and heal yourself. So anyway, I know that was a long video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I'll have um, the functional practitioner that I'm seeing linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in seeing her. Of course, um, if you guys do have any questions first, please feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is routine beauty with three Y's. I'll have it linked down below as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys decide to see her, it would mean a lot to me if you would let her know that I sent you. I think that you guys will really see great results by seeing her. She has really helped me. I'm so excited to continue seeing, seeing the healing because I'm already seeing, seeing healing with just a little over a month worth of doing the protocol that she gave me um, and that she made for me. So I'm really excited to see what my skin is going to look like and how I'm going to be feeling after three months of doing this stuff. So... All right, you all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see even more content from me in the future, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you all for the next video. Bye, guys.